What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel Plus ROM on this device. This is the 3rd May 2020 build if you're noticing the build time or date and let me scroll up. We have the Android version as Android 10 of course, this is totally based on Android 10 and you can see the Pixel Plus UI version from here which is 1.3 Devil X version and of course device shows violet because this is a redmi note 7 pro and here the maintainer is sort of and you can see the pixel plus ui logo up top there we also have the system updater if you go to the system and advanced you can see the system updater you can check for updates from here now talking about flashing this rom i have used this 11.0.8 firmware which is violet in global firmware and with this firmware, I flashed the ROM file and just rebooted. Since my storage is encrypted, I used the Orange Fox recovery, of course, the latest Orange Fox recovery. I entered pin, wiped cache, Dalvik system data and vendor, and then flashed the firmware and the ROM file and rebooted. That's how simple it is. It's not a uh, like huge issue over here and it booted fine totally. And I don't have Magisk or something installed over here because my storage is encrypted by the way again. Now this is how the home screen looks like. Let me go into the settings of this launcher and show you this is the pixel launcher as you can see from here. And if I swipe to the left, we have the Google's discover page right here. And if I scroll down, we have the quick settings panel. Of course, if you swipe up, you get the app drawer, pretty simplistic stuff. We don't have double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen, but double tap to sleep on the serious bar and stuff is there. Now, let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed. As you can see, it unlocked. Let me do it again. As you can see, it unlocks fine. Let me try with the right finger, as you can see. It unlocks pretty fast and I don't have any issues over here while unlocking with the fingerprint scanner. I think the fingerprint scanner unlocking speed is pretty good. In the settings panel, we have this pixelizer settings where you will find all the customizations over here of this shop. Now let me show you one by one inside pixelizer we have the traffic indicator you can enable it if you want to let me go back we have the blur behind quick settings panel so here as you can see if you are noticing the like things behind has been blurred this is the blur kind of feature and then we have the status bar on lock screen showing up option inside clock settings we have the am pm style and stuff then we have the clock style to like left center or right this is the status bar clock by the way and then we have the date showing up option small font size or normal font size you can choose that then date style lower or uppercase and the date format as you can see pretty much good customizations over here inside power menu we have the advanced reboot so you can directly reboot to recovery as you can see you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here of course we have the invert layout if you are using two or three button navigation and double tap to sleep on the like lock screen and the double tap to sleep on the status bar as well is there long press to toggle torch is there so that's cool this works super fine and then we have the in call vibration that's pretty much all the customizations we have here and here as you can see we do not have the like brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar that those kind of features are not there but let me show you some more things like inside battery settings we have the battery percentage showing our option over here and then we have the screen on time and stuff in terms of battery life i would say it should be pretty good it can definitely give you six to seven hours of screen on time easily and it does support fast charging too so that's not a problem let me go back to the display settings here we have the dark theme and you can schedule the dark theme if you want that and I have been using it with the dark theme works fine. Then we have the display size, screen saver mode, lock screen display and stuff. From here we have the always on display but I don't know why you would want that on a IPS display. And double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both is there. Let me show you. I just double tapped on the status bar to lock the phone or make the phone into sleep. Now if I double tap over here as you can see the screen just wakes up. So double tap to wake works just fine. Inside sound settings we have the vibrate for calls and if you go advanced then we have the Mi audio direct or the Mi sound enhancer. And from here we have the youth edition and stuff like lot of headphones choosing option. And I would say in terms of the sound quality this is pretty great. And I have been liking the sound food via the headphone jack over here. Not an issue. Audio via Bluetooth and stuff works super fine. Then we have screenshot and screen record sound disabling option over here. And if I go to the system again and inside gestures, we do have this swipe to take screenshot. As you can see, it shows a demo over here. Looks pretty cool. So let me go back here into the settings and take a screenshot. And this, like with this, you can take a long kind of screenshot. As you can see, this is the ASUS kind of long screenshot, not the OxygenOS kind of long screenshot. So that's cool. You can also edit and add like something, some doodle over here. As you can see, you can save it or share it however you want. So that's pretty cool, I would say. We have long screenshot working super fine here. 
and if I go into the security this play system update shows as September 2019 but I don't have an issue with it I have seen some people talking about this on telegram and stuff I have no issues about this thing I don't feel like it is really really important this Google play system update or something but the face unlock has been removed which is quite saddening but yeah that's how it is with all the ROMs right now but I'm pretty sure developers will find a way to make the face unlock working in future so I'm not like too disappointed with that face unlock is not here i'm just saying that now if i test this google's own recorder app let me show you it does work and it does transcript the audio whatever i say so that's cool even without connecting a headphone this feature does work on the redmi note 7 pro which is really really appreciable now let me show you the stock wallpapers and stuff let me go into this come alive section we have these many live wallpapers over here you can choose between these many things and there is this pixel live wallpapers too so that's cool and inside living universe we have these many options you can download any wallpapers from here so these are present by default over here so that's pretty cool and of course you do not need any g apps or something to flash this rom because g apps is pre-included in the rom build itself and if you want to change accent colors and stuff you can go to this styles option then choose a custom theme like this like choose the fonts and the icons of the series bar then from here you can choose between these many icons of course there are not a lot of customizations but this is how many you get you cannot scroll between these you don't have the, the custom color changing option for the accent colors but yeah we have these many like eight options i guess for the accent colors which is pretty good but not super customizable and if you notice over here we have this pixel plus app over here by default and let me show you one by one like this kind of wallpapers looks pretty cool and then we have this pixel 4 style wallpapers like we get these four wallpapers as you can see you can choose between any of them this is pretty dark and looks pretty cool in my opinion not bad at all let me go back we also have this i uh, wallpaper which i have been using so yeah we get these four wallpapers and inside collections and favorites there is nothing much so these four wallpapers for this pixel plus ui looks pretty cool now let me talk about some missed things like the drm info shows as level one over here because i flashed the indian format of course and this is the indian redmi note 7 pro that's why the drm info shows as level one and you can like play netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p with this certification so that's not a problem i guess and with this led rgb remote app i have tested the ir bluster present up top over here and the IR Blaster works super fine, not a problem. And talking about banking apps, it passes the safety net test. So you can pretty much use Google Pay and stuff right out of the box. You do not need Magis Hide to use banking apps on this ROM. And on the quick settings panel, there is the screen record option, but I do not see the FPS info option. So yeah, I cannot really enable FPS over here. And you can also record the screen. This is actually the like AOSP kind of screen recorder in my opinion and not the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder you can only choose the bitrate over here of the video you cannot change the fps i guess you can choose the audio as like internal audio or the microphone audio this audio is being recorded with my redmi note 7 pro's internal microphone and as you can see the recording should be looking fine on your side and one really cool thing about this rom i would say is the volume panel as you can see it looks really really cool with this rounded kind of things if you are noticing this volume panel in my opinion looks pretty sweet and if you tap on the settings over here you can get the expanded volume panel from here you can control the media call volume ring volume or alarm volume and of course from the up top here you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from this settings and this rounded kind of look gives it a really nice touch in my opinion now in terms of graphic settings we get graphics quality on very high and frame rate on very high over here but if you play on low settings you can get the max frame rate over here so i'll choose that and then start a match
So the gaming performance as you guys see, it's pretty great in my opinion. So I don't have any issues while gaming on this ROM. I would say the gaming performance is pretty good. Even with Call of Duty, which is pretty optimized than PUBG I would say. And here is the Geekbench 5 score of this ROM. And the thing which mostly disappoints me about this ROM I would say is the stock camera. As you can see this is the old kind of Google camera which is present by default over here. I would have liked it if there was the ANX camera or something by default. But yeah this is the stock camera over here which you get. You can also install Google camera 7 and stuff of course. But yeah I don't really like this stock camera present on this ROM. In terms of daily driving performance and stuff this ROM feels really really fast. And the conclusion would be, I would say, in terms of the like stability and stuff, this is really close to the Pixel Experience ROM. But as you guys know, on the Pixel Experience ROM, there are a lot of issues while flashing it. Like it replaces the recovery and stuff. I think they have changed that kind of thing. But yeah, that might be still a thing which changes the recovery to the USB kind of recovery or something which just removes your orange fox or TWRP recovery. So that sucks and that is simply not here. And if you notice, even after flashing this ROM, I still have the orange fox recovery right here and it boots fine. And I did not even need to flash any fcrypt disabler or something because my storage is encrypted again. So in my opinion, this Pixel Plus UI is pretty good on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Yes, it does not have a lot of customizations, but you can definitely daily drive with the stability out of this ROM which we get with a little bit of customizations and the neat experience which you get on this Pixel Plus UI is pretty good. The RAM management is super good. The battery life is good enough. Does support 18 watt fast charging. Has the stock Android feeling over here. And there isn't a lot of customizations which is gonna block your way or something. So yeah, I think that makes this ROM a pretty great option for a custom ROM for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet, this is Tiro from KD and Dick signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.